Good morning, guys. It is day seven on the Tour de Mont Blanc, the first week out here walking. Left early this morning at almost uh, eight o'clock. Very cold morning in the shade. Started climbing up here in search for the sun. And I have to say, Refugio Elena, the worst one so far. The food last night was not great and the breakfast this morning gave me heartburn. And I don't get it because there's a road that leads right up to the front door. It has two full-size generators, a full-size kitchen, and it is so close to Comayor. On my way up the steep mountain to the border between Switzerland and Italy. See you up there. Finally made it to the pass and we're now in Switzerland and we got some sheep here to welcome us of course. On the way up here I had to make a quick number two emergency stop and there's not that many places here to hide but you know that seals the deal for yesterday's refugio. I highly recommend you stay in the campground down below. The food there was just way better. So now that we're in Switzerland what do I expect up here? Well it's going to get more expensive, of course, and also it's going to be gorgeous because just flying the drone up here from the pass, the views up ahead are incredible just as days pass. Very nice. From the worst breakfast on the entire trip to the best one in the span of only a few hours. My energy levels are up, I feel a lot better. It's just been a easy morning, I might say, after that pass. It was quite the climb at the beginning. And then it's just been a steady descent all the way down to this uh, refugio, which you see right there behind me. I decided to stop by and have a cafe con leche. It was delicious. And also this plate that had bread, eggs, cheese, tomato, ham, and it, it just hit the spot. It also cost me an arm and a leg. It was like a 20 uh, euro plate, but I don't care. I would have paid double just to enjoy it. Great morning, just my levels are all the way up. Today I'm staying at a jeet in the town up ahead. From now on, I think it's just a descent all the way down. I had to stop at a pharmacy because of course, I left my bottle of shampoo behind and that's what I'm using to wash myself and to wash my clothes. So that is the mission for today, finding a bottle of shampoo. I think I'm gonna do it. I think it's gonna be an easy a mission to fulfill. So yes, almost noon, let's continue. And the ammo. It is getting hot, but at least I made it to La Folie, the town where I'm gonna be staying today. There is the jeet right behind me. And the sad thing is that I had to wait until 4 p.m. in order to do the chicken. I was at the restaurant here. The prices here are way more expensive than it was in Italy or France. And I uh, just remember that not long ago, about four years ago, I was crossing over the other side of those mountains on my way to the Grand San Bernard's Pass when I was doing the Via Francigena. I put the link in the description above. 
I also made a quick stop at the supermarket and I got myself the shampoo that I told you I was gonna get. Super easy, it was right below the restaurant where I was eating, so yes. Now I have to wait. It's a waiting game, it's a waiting game. And what time is it right now? It is 2.30, so I have to wait for an hour and a half. It got so hot in the afternoon that I had a chance to do my own laundry in my private bathroom and had it all dry in the backyard. I couldn't resist and I went to check out the bunk beds and men, zero privacy there whatsoever. Everybody's piled up on top of each other. Best meal so far on the trip, I have to say. I had a uh, soup to start it off and then I had potatoes with uh, cheese and meat. I had a glass of red wine and some dessert at the end. I guess that's the end for the first week on the Tour de Mont Blanc, day seven, actually day eight because I had a rest day. Tomorrow is gonna be another beautiful, gorgeous day here in Switzerland, very expensive. Keep that in mind. I think this uh, Jeet is the most expensive on the entire trip. They've been open for, I think, a couple of years and the owner, the lady, has been to Miami, she speaks a little bit of Spanish, so we had a good conversation there. See you all tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. sharp, of course.